Meet Leo, a year and a half old Kavapoo. He's described by his owners as a sweet, loving, and curious dog. He likes to check everything out, including my tripod case. But that curiosity got the best of him. When his owner suspects, he wandered out of his yard on April 11th. Um, we also went out and handed out posters and the rec areas and everything to get everybody involved. And each day got more stressful. I think I cried more and more each day thinking that he wasn't going to come home. Monday started off as a typical tax day for Sweet and Associates until they came outside to take out the trash. I'm Hannah McElroy here in West Omaha where a few neighborhood accountants made a heartbreaking discovery inside of this dumpster. Now before I show you the images, I want to warn you, they're very disturbing. Never, never in a million years would I have thought that's what I was going to see. Kevin Weirderin and his associate Judy Holleran found Leo early Monday morning his little body bound by duct tape. Had its face and eyes duct taped, its mouth was duct taped shut. Luckily, it could breathe, and its paws, its front paws and back paws were all duct taped together, so it couldn't move. And before I knew it, she, she jumped in and pulled the dog out, and then we I called the uh, Humane Society. Weederin says it's a miracle they found Leo when they did, because 30 minutes later, the garbage truck came and emptied the dumpster. Leo's owner, Aaron Pasillas, was able to identify Leo through his microchip after his long locks of fur had to be cut off to remove the duct tape. He came out and asked if I had any enemies. Something no pet owner wants to hear. I said, why are you asking that, like, right away? Because I was picking it up. Yeah, so. Leo spent some time at the vet. He has a rash around his head from the duct tape and an ear infection in both ears. Okay. Leo is still a little skittish, but is on the road to recovery. In Papillion, I'm Hannah McElroy, your neighborhood reporter.